Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next installment of my lipstick roulette. So you guys know the drill by now. I'm just going to jump straight into the lipsticks. And the first one is this one from YSL. And it's one of their Rouge Velopti lipsticks in number 8. This color isn't really a fall shade, but I do really, really love it. The formula itself is really, really comfortable to wear and I love the scent of these lipsticks. I do have quite a few of the YSL Rouge Velopti lipsticks and this one is just stunning. This is one of the more colorful ones that I own but I do really like the shade and it is a really cool toned uh, pink uh, and you probably know that I love those types of shades. I don't wear this color as often as I do with the other ones in the same formula but I really really love it still and I definitely know that I will get tons of use out of this especially in the springtime and since the formula is so comfortable to wear I'm definitely gonna keep this one. And that is the YSL lip swatch on my hand. The second lipstick that I do have is this one from Colourpop and it's one of their lipsticks in the Matte X formula in the shade Boa. This type of shade is a bit similar to the previous one but this one is even more cool toned and almost leaning on the um, lilac side. I do really really love this shade. Again, it's probably not the most fall appropriate shade but I think it's stunning. You all already know how much I love the Colourpop Matte X formula. And this one is one of the more brighter ones that I own, but I love it. I especially love this type of color in a matte formula, so this one is definitely one I want to keep as well. I do own quite a few cool toned pinks in my collection, but this color is still really unique and I have been loving wearing this over the last two weeks. And again, like I said, with the previous lipstick, I know that I will get more use out of this in the springtime, as this one is probably not the most fall appropriate, like I mentioned. And that is the Colourpop lipstick. The next lipstick I have is one from NYX and it's one of their soft matte lip creams in the shade Tokyo. Sticking with the pinks, uh, we have another kind of baby pink colour. This one is definitely warmer than the previous ones though um, and uh, definitely lighter as well. I would say that this is probably the lightest I will go with my pinks before they start looking really really used too pale on my skin and like a bit chalky if that makes sense. I think this shade is stunning and I do really really love this but again it is more of a spring shade. I definitely pulled more of the spring type of colors rather than the fall ones but either way I do really like this shade and I don't really have that many colors this light in my collection so I do want to keep this one. Also the NYX soft matte lip creams are another formula that I love. I just love those type of matte lipsticks that are more comfortable for example than um, a liquid lipstick so yeah this one is definitely another favorite and I will be keeping this one and you can see the NYX lipstick right there all of them are quite bright as you can see so moving into the more fall appropriate shades I have one lipstick from Bourjois and this is one of their Rouge de Velvets in the shade uh, Ole Flamingo this Cairo lipstick is actually quite similar to the soft matte lip creams from NYX this, these ones though are probably a bit more moisturizing and not as uh, matte, if that makes sense. This ones, these ones though have a really nice stain to them and I love wearing these. And this color is stunning. I think this is just so classy and it's really nice if you don't want to wear red but you still want something that is kind of more classic on the lips. Um, I do own quite a few of this color but I do really really love this formula and um, I will do some sort of comparison with all of the similar shades when I'm done with this lipstick roulette but as for now I do want to keep this one because I do reach for it quite often and it's one that I loved wearing even before starting this roulette. And you can see the Bourjois lipstick right there, it's a perfect raspberry red. And then the final lipstick is the one that I'm wearing currently and it's a red lipstick from Urban Decay. This is actually my only Urban Decay lipstick and this one is in the shade 714 and it's one of their Mega Mattes. So this red is like the most perfect red ever. It's not too cool tone and it's still not too warm. I would say this is just like the perfect red, like I said. I think this will suit most people and it is stunning. I love wearing this and I actually haven't worn this that much before because I've been focusing on other reds that I own but the formula of this is really really comfortable. It stays on the lips quite well because it is one of those uh, matte lipsticks but it's definitely not super drying. One of my favorite red of all time is Ruby Woo from MAC but that is super drying so this one is definitely more comfortable than that. 
And yeah, I just adore this shade. Again, I do have quite a few reds that I need to compare after I'm done with this roulette. But as for now, I am really loving the formula and the color, like I said, is stunning. So this one is definitely a contender for one of the red lipsticks that are staying in my collection. Which means that I'm definitely keeping it uh, for this point in time. And you can see the swatch of the Urban Decay Red right there. So those were the lipsticks from last round and like I mentioned, I am keeping all of them. Um, I just feel like these are classic shades and um, these a bit more brighter shades are quite unique. So um, they are definitely shades that I love and I reach for all of these quite often. So yeah, they are all staying this round, which is not too successful because I do need to declutter a few lipsticks. But yeah, I just love them all so I can't get rid of any of them. But instead, let's move on to picking the next round of lipsticks. So the first lipstick will be this one which is from Chanel and is one of their Rouge Coco Shines in the shade Rendezvous. And that is Rendezvous swatched on my hand. The second lipstick will be this one which is one of my Tom Ford lipsticks and it's in the shade Incorrigible. Not sure how you pronounce that, I will put it down below. Uh, and the formula is one of their lip color shears. And that is the Tom Ford lipstick. They are quite similar actually, although this one is a bit more peachy and a bit lighter. The third lipstick will be... Another one of my Colourpop lipsticks and this one is in the shade Upside Down and it's another matte X. And that is Upside Down Swatched, it's a really pale peachy nude. The fourth lipstick will be... This one, which is one of the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets again, in the shade number 9. And that is the Rouge Edition Velvet on my hand. And then the fifth and final lipstick will be... This one, which is one of my Maybelline uh, Matte Lipsticks in Divine Wine, which is finally a fall color. And that is the final swatch on my hand. So those will be the five lipsticks for next round and I'm really happy that I got that darker shade because I've really been missing wearing those like really vampy shades so I'm really excited about playing with these lipsticks. But that was it for this round, I really really hope you enjoyed it and as always you can check out the rest of the playlist in the cards because I will link it up there and yeah, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!